Hi, so I'm going to teach you guys some hooping tricks today. So, as you can tell, I don't like to say my hair is up, I don't have my collar on, I'm not wearing any jewelry, I am in suitable-ish clothing for pole hooping, and I have my hoop, and I'm outside. So, um, I'm just going to teach you guys some beginner tricks, going to get you into hooping, and we're going to work our way up from beginner to advanced and etc. tricks. Um, so yeah, and the tricks I'm going to be teaching you today is just how to hoop on your waist. I'm going to teach you isolations, and then I'm also going to teach you um, just a little swing that you do with your arm. I completely forgot what it is. I'm wearing somewhat tightish clothing. I am having some skin so I can get the hoop catch onto the skin just easier for beginners. I am using a polypro. I do not have any water or anything in this. I only use polypro and I started with polypro. Um, usually with a beginner hoop you want a hoop that touches the ground and measures up to your belly button. So from your belly button to the ground that's the size hoop that you want when you begin. Um, and as you work your way through advance, the hoop will get smaller. As you can see, mine only goes to here. Mine is a 30 inch hoop from Mood Hoops. It's a poly pro. And I think this is like the neon version. John got it for me a long time ago and I love it. Um, and yeah. So when I first started hooping, I just wore shorts, some tennis shoes and a bandeau, but it's really cold out and I don't want to get sick. So I'm just wearing something that shows a little skin right here just to help with the hips and stuff so if you just want to like ride it up so it catches on to the skin that'll help a lot the first trick I'm going to show you go ahead and get the hoop around your waist rocking it back and forth but you want to go with fast so and then at some point you don't need the foot to aid you as you can see my hips are moving in a way with the hoop you kind of want to go behind the way but be ahead of it like know where the hoop is so I always know where I can slide in my hands and later on you can start walking around with the hoop it's a good way to practice on the waist start moving your hips in a more direction like maybe you want to go more towards the side maybe you want to slow it only using it that way back to center using it on the other side and that's all the tips I have for hooping really you just want to keep it up if it starts going down you want to just scoop it up with your hip just and drop and scoop it up Next one, I'm going to teach you isolations. So you just want to put your hand straight on the bottom, and you don't want to grab it. When you grab it, you don't want it going like this. That just tells you you need to grab it tighter. So go ahead, grab it pretty tight. Start moving with the hoop. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just going with the hoop, and I'm keeping my hand tight. Then you want to let go at the top, like this. Flip over, and then the weight of the hoop will catch it back, and then you just want to keep on going. So when you speed it up, it will just go like this. For alterations of this, I would just recommend moving your hand the opposite direct direction, giving it more illusion and everything. Maybe you want to put direction like this, giving it more of a dramatic effect.
really throws out the arms and all that so if you start getting sore I would say that you're doing it right okay the next one I'm going to teach you is from the waist and I want you to hit it basically with your arm and it will swing the other direction when it's coming back around you're going to hit it with this arm into the other direction putting it back another way okay so when you're hooping you want to know when you can put your arm in and out so i sneak up right there just straight just make sure your arm's straight there you can even keep it going on the other side Either way, it works. Next one I'm gonna teach you is just a slide or a swing or whatever. It just makes it look a little bit cool and tricky. I'm gonna just go ahead and go into this position right here, kind of like you're going into this little form. You just want to go like this swing it and you want to put your hand this way down so like just slouch in and then you want to swing it back up kind of just like like that the same motion as when you just start swinging yourself around and you can do it like that you can do it slow you can go with it you can make it into anything you want you can start moving your arms with it whatever you want to put any kind of accent on it so, and this I like to do when I'm just like, oh, I don't know what to do, or I'm starting to, like, I'm messing up a lot, I'm getting out of it, so I just start swinging around. You can even go back and forth. You can even do it behind you, this and that. But for the beginner, I would just recommend going like this. And I thought I would just add in a trick just in case, <laughs> in case you guys get bored. This one I think I remember it, just calling it the lasso, but it's just up. Hands like this, and you just let the hoop swing around like that. So when you have momentum, momentum, <laughs> it'll come around a lot smoother. So you can even just make a ring with your fingers right here. Swing it around. It's not really letting go of the hoop, it's just this little feeling. That's all I have for this video on the beginner of pooping and all that. So, sorry it's noisy out here. If that's all I can do, all the tips and tricks I have. And um, tell me if it helped you down below what tricks you want me to do next. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week.